So this video we're going to focus on solving simultaneous equations and we'll start with pairs of linear simultaneous equations like these and you'll hopefully recall from your work at GCSE that simultaneous equations, linear simultaneous equations can be solved using either the elimination method or the substitution method. So to remind you of that we'll go through um, a couple of examples. The first pair of um, linear simultaneous equations there will solve using the elimination method and the second pair of linear simultaneous equations will solve using the substitution method. So first the elimination method. So we're going to use this pair of simultaneous equations here. And the method here is that we multiply one or both equations by values in order to make sure that the coefficient of either the x terms or the y terms are equal. So for this pair of linear simultaneous equations I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 2. And if we do that, that will give us 6x plus 15y equals 33 for the first one and 6x plus 8y equals 12 for the second one. And now we can subtract the equations from one another. 6x subtract 6x eliminates the x terms, which is why it's called the elimination method. 15y subtract 8y is 7y, and 33 subtract 12 is 21. And that tells us that y is equal to 3. And then we can substitute our value of y into either the first or second equation. I'm going to choose the first one. So if we do that, we've got 2x plus 5y, which is 15, is equal to 11. So 2x is equal to negative 4, and x is equal to negative 2. And so the solution... is x equals negative 2, y equals 3. So for the second pair of um, linear simultaneous equations, we're going to use the substitution method. So this means that we're going to take one of our equations and we're going to rearrange the equation to make either x or y the subject of the equation. And then we can substitute that into the other equation and that will give us an equation which we can solve to find x or y. And then we can continue from there. So in this example, um, if we take the first equation, it's relatively straightforward to rearrange the first equation and make y the subject. So I'm going to choose that one as the one I'm going to rearrange. If we now substitute that into the second equation, so we've got 5x take away 2y, but we've just rearranged the first equation to find that y was equal to 1 take away 4x. And that must equal 11. So now we can proceed and solve that equation and that will tell us our value of x. So 5x take away 2 add 8x equals 11. Simplifying gives us 13x equals 13. So x is equal to 1. And then we can substitute our value of x into the first or second equation. So I'm going to choose the first equation. So we've got 4 times x plus y is equal to 1. And that tells us that y is equal to negative 3. So the solution to this pair of linear simultaneous equations is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 3. Now, if we're solving a pair of simultaneous equations where one of the equations is not a linear equation, such as trying to find a point of intersection between um, a straight line and a quadratic, then it's generally easier to solve it using substitution. And this is especially the case if both equations already have the form um, y equals some function of x.
So in this example, that's exactly what we've got. We're going to find the points where the, the line y equals 3x plus 2 and the quadratic curve y equals x squared plus 6x subtract 2 intersect each other. Okay, and to do that, because both equations already take the form y equals some function of x, then we can substitute direct one of the equations directly into the other one. And so we end up with x squared plus 6x subtract 2 is equal to 3x plus 2. And then we can rearrange that to x squared plus 3x subtract 4 is equal to 0, and that's a quadratic equation um, which we can factorise, and it factorises into x um, plus 4x subtract 1 equals 0, and so the x coordinates of the point of intersection are x equals negative 4 and x equals 1. And then we can substitute both of those values of x into either one of the uh, equations that we started with. It's easier in this case to substitute it into the linear equation. And if we substitute x equals negative 4, that gives us y is uh, negative 10. And if we substitute x equals 1, it gives us y equals 5. And so, therefore, the points of intersection between the line and the curve are negative 4, negative 10, and 1, 5. In this final example, we need to do some rearranging first before we um, do the substitution. So, if we, um, for example, look at the second of, this, uh, of these two equations, y squared is equal to 4x take away 8 if we expand the bracket and if we look at the first equation we can rewrite that one as 2x is equal to 12 plus 3y and that means 4x must be equal to 24 plus 6y now that's easy to substitute in now for 4x. So we can substitute into the second equation to give us y squared equals 24 plus 6y take away 8. And rearranging that gives us y squared take away 6y take away 16 is equal to 0. And we factorize then um, we're going to get y subtract 8 y plus 2 equals 0 so y is equal to 8 or y is equal to negative 2 are the two possible values of y I'm going to substitute these into the first equation um, and that if we so we should if we go with y equals 8, 2x take away 3y is equal to 12. So 2x is equal to 36. So the corresponding x value is 18. And for y equals negative 2, 2x take away 3y equals 12. So 2x equals 6 and x equals 3 gives us the corresponding value of x uh, for that y value and so therefore the solutions are x equals 18 y equals 8 or x equals 3 and y equals negative 2